Okay, excellent. 440. Well, welcome. This is the Kata Containers Contributing Onboarding. Um, and also an extra thank you because I know it's one of the last sessions of the summit. So extra brownie points for you all. Um, basically, oh, for that one, we're just kind of going to walk through the essentials you need to know to start contributing with Kata. Um, I like to say we're kind of a no surprises community. So if you, particularly if you work in any um, like Kubernetes community, community or other container ecosystems community, a lot of this will look similar. It might be a little dry, but it's, it's a good thing. No surprises. Um, since we are part of the OpenStack Foundation, just at a high level, you know, we signed on because we do believe in the four opens. Open source, open design, open development, and open community. So I just want to give an extra shout out that we are committed to diversity, openness, and we're encouraging new folks like you to come on and join us with Kata Containers. So we are split up into two groups. We have the Architecture Committee, and they do a little bit more about the technical design. If you're going to be a technical contributor, that's the group for you. That's where you'll want to hang out. And we have our working committee. Uh, it's, that's more community and marketing. It has kind of a funny name because we wanted the ethos of we're there to get things done. <laughs> so we called it the working committee. The architecture committee does have a little bit more uh, formal governance. So we have five members. We have five seats. Uh, Samuel Ortiz at Intel. Shu's up here at Hyper. Uh, Jesse Frizzell at Microsoft. Wei from Huawei, who's also up here. And Tim Claire at Google. Um, so at launch, we launched in December at KubeCon. These folks were appointed just to get us kicked off. Uh, but coming up probably in the next few months, we will have, start having elections. And they will reflect sort of the OpenStack, set, uh, OpenStack project, how they've set up their technical committee elections is where we think we're going to go with that. So if you're a technical contributor, you'll be able to have a vote on who these people should be. We do have weekly meetings. on. Right now they are Mondays, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, 1500 UTC. So we use Zoom for our meetings currently. Uh, so we, but there's also a very, what do I say, a very uh, thorough chat box running at all times. So if you're not super comfortable talking on the phone, you're not sure about being on video, that's okay. You can use the chat box. That's, that's where we meet. The working committee, the marketing and uh, advocacy side, so we're focused a little bit more about spreading the word. So people who like to do what I'm doing, get up in front and talk with folks, make, maybe do some demos, content, thinking about what events we should be at and why we should be at them. Um, maybe that's for you. That's the working committee. We have kind of a funny schedule, so hang on tight. Uh, we meet twice a month, every other week, and every other week it rotates. So we will either meet uh, 8 a.m. on Thursday, or 5 and that's Pacific time, or 5 p.m. on Thursday, which if you're UTC, that's zero UTC. Um, so all, all of this is also on the Kata Containers homepage, and, but the meeting times are right up there on the front. So if you're like, what was she talking about? Why are they rotating? Just refer back to the homepage. Uh, let's run through quickly some technical contribution stuff. And like I said, this is kind of where there's no surprises here except for one, potentially, depending on where you come from. Uh, goals of our workflow, we try and produce the best formed, uniform, and well-tested code we can while not impacting our velocity too much. We do want to make sure we're not merging broken code. I do really love that from Zool. Um, I can give you a little flow. We are a GitHub community, um, so if, you're, if you've spent most of your time working in Garrett, it's you know, a little bit different, um, but and if you can follow the arrows, general work, workflow of our GitHub workflow. This is probably, if you want to get started in technical contribution, the thing that I want to point you to first. Um, so if you go to the Kata GitHub, github.com slash kata dash containers, you will see under the community repo this contributing doc. Um, that would be the first thing that you'll want to read. Everything we go over here today is inside that, in case you need some reference. Uh, Kata containers is written in Go, and so we do follow Golang standards for that. Give folks a second. I saw, saw a phone out there for that one. Um, those are some pretty standard bodies, though, for um, Go projects. So again, no surprises. I might find myself repeating that more than once. Um, when people are doing pull requests, we kind of try and divvy it up so that you're only fixing one problem per PR. If you see a couple things, please submit multiple PRs for those. Do them separately. Uh, the one surprise I want to say, so we tend to follow the format outlined by the Linux kernel community. What that does mean is we use this thing called signed off by. 
and it's a gating feature for us. Um, so if you, submit a, if you submit a PR and you don't have that, it'll automatically fail. If you're not familiar with it, I would really encourage you to go read in the contributing doc uh, what the formatting is, is of it. It's just a way to authenticate that the commit came from you. But some people haven't used it before, and it trips them up because they forgot the colon or they have you know, not a space or the dash. So some, something to just pay a little bit extra attention to. Some folks haven't used that before. Uh, this is James. He's delight, and he does a very good job of organizing himself and his thoughts. So just a good example of a, um, a PR in Kata. So you know, he talked about what he's doing, why he's doing it. He put the issue number, fixes uh, number 310. We were actually just talking today about if that idea of uh, attaching a PR to an issue should be gating for our community. So it might be a direction we're going, but just to share the ethos that we really want to make sure PRs are attached to issues, so we're fixing known things. And then he has signed off by, by James with his email. Um, oh, but when you submit it. That's a really good point. Um, so what, because it's recorded, what Paula was saying is that when you are actually doing this, because GitHub with the UI is making James's email a hyperlink, the actual formats for that, and again, this is in the contributing document, um, it's to use the bracts around it on both sides of your email. And one thing to call it again, if you're someone who switches your GitHub account between a personal and a work email, that email needs to match whatever the author, the Git author is. So. Something, I, I'm a switcher and it always trips me up. Um, yeah, like I said, we are right now using GitHub issues for our bug tracker. For people getting started, a really good place to do, we also have the GitHub labels, good first issue and help wanted. Uh, so if you're just hunting around, poking around for what you should maybe get started at, that's a really good place for you to take a peek. Documentation, uh, like every other project, we would love more people to be working on docs. Um, we do use standard GitHub flavored markdown, um, and we have a docs team that's looking over things to ensure consistency, but don't be intimidated. Please jump on in if documentation is an area that you care about and like to work on. A um, little bit about our CI system. Like I said, again, no surprises, kind of my theme of today. Um, we're running checks because of our, our integrations across the containers ecosystem. We are running things against like Docker, Kubernetes, uh, Cryo, Swarm, a couple other things. And right now we are running Jenkins. Uh, we run it on Azure. Thanks Microsoft for that donation. But we're probably thinking about maybe looking at Zool. So we've been thinking about that. If you're a Jenkins person, Zool person, come talk to us. We might want your advice. We do have some core reviewers. Um, so you'll see those folks are the ones submitting things in, um, what do I want to say about this? We are, it was actually just brought up today that our owner files are an area that we could improve. Uh, so if you have any questions about that, maybe post something to the list or drop an IRC. Um, I would love to say the owners are very clear, but we realized today we could, an area of improvement for us is documenting who those are. Uh, the working committee, so again, the marketing and advocacy community folks. If you're passionate about spreading the word about containers and security, please come join us. Uh, we're looking for folks to make some content, maybe do some demos, technical demos, video demos, anything with speaking. Uh, the, the working committee is only on Slack, and I'll show the Slack link in just a second. They are not on IRC. And there is, is working-committee. So here's a little bit of where you can find us. Uh, web or katacontainers.io. That link, bit.ly dash kata slack, it's case sensitive. That'll let you bypass the invite and get straight into the kata containers slack channel. We do have a bridge to IRC, uh, so no need to do both. You can pick whichever one you'd like. Our developer mailing list is at list.katacontainers.io. Of course, we tweet and do a little bit of email. And with that, I'm happy to open up for questions, and we also have two members of the architecture committee here as well to answer questions, too. No questions? Okay, I will leave up um, 
for a few minutes, that one. I think that's probably the most important takeaway if you're interested in being a Kata contributor. That's the place to start. Wonderful. Thanks for joining. <laughs>